So, Doc, thank you very much for your time and congratulations for winning the Ghana Premier League. How do you feel? I mean, how did you feel on Sunday after that results came in and it meant that Hartsfield had finally won the title? Well, I feel very, very happy. And I feel also that um, as a former military officer, uh, at times you have to take decisions that are not popular with the people, but definitely it turns out to be the best decision. And uh, the whole league started on a very, very rocky path for the, for the club. Uh, we had um, criticisms and attacks from all corners. And um, what uh, worries some of us, particularly on the board, was that uh, most of the criticisms were coming from our own club members and supporters. And that was a bit, a bit disturbing. However, we decided we should forge ahead. Now, we had problems with uh, a tanker team. I think you are very much aware. Mm -hmm. There were quite a number of resignations left, right, center. And also, uh, we had problems with coaches. The, some, some of the coach, the, 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 the trainers that we, we engaged. Mm -hmm. Some of them live in telling us. Now, one thing I must say is that the boys, that are the players, were very solid. They were they were first the management and the board, and I, I can see that some of our achievements have come principally for that. The chairman of the board of uh, of the club, Doug we are further the fourteen. You see, until I worked with him or started working with, him, I never knew. But there were certain qualities that I found in him which were quite identical with my own way of doing things. Mm. One, he's very truthful. Two, he's straight to the point. Three, he's hardworking. Very, very, very hardworking. That I can say he is harder than most people that are absent. Mm. Now, he's somebody to who can take decision, always has ideas. And he found working with me very, 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 very convenient for him. Because we discuss issues at times, and we disagree, we argue about it, and then later, we see the right cause and we pursue. So are other members of the board as well, who have done wonderfully well. And I think, what rather discouraged me a bit, if I would say so, that unlike past office holders of House of Folk, who when you leave office, what you do is to come and support the club, actively support the club. We didn't have anything like that. If anything, rather criticisms, left, right, center. Now, despite all these sort of uh, difficulties or challenges, we have been able to win the league. And I think, uh, I thank God very much for that. If you give us strength, we have in the pipeline a lot of projects that will come out and that will shock the football world, particularly either in Ghana or West Africa. We are building, uh, what do you call it, uh, a new institution, an academy, Beautiful academy. Mm. We are coming with four playing fields. Natural, natural. When I say four, three will be natural, and one will be asked to take. Mm -hmm. We are building a place where the, the boys will live. They will live there like you have in any boarding institutions. Mm. We are going to have a place also for those who like probably to hire and come and stay there when they come to play in Ghana. We shall have a huge tennis court, a huge swimming pool. I mean, all these things are in the pipeline, as I told you. Work mm. is on go. It's not That's a question right. of mm. Work is on go. Mm. And very soon, our secretariat that you know in Accra, we are going to bring it down and build a brand new four-story glass house. Wow. All this, indeed. 
We want to finish all this thing before the end of the year. Because all, because all the paperwork has been done already. We are going to have a special commercial house also within the vicinity of our secretariat. So you can kind of see that there's a lot being done. And all our appeal, all I'll do is I'll like to appeal to the supporters of the club. To exercise patience. Yesterday at the, at the, at the stadium, they, they were the loudest more than anybody. They were the happiest. Yes. I have handled hearts of folk in crisis before. Where when I look at the situation, I was compared to put 21 regular players on transfer. That is sack them. And started mm -hmm. a new team. And it worked. We won the league. So certain things don't get me worried at all. So I will pray that in the coming season, we do better. And particularly, I'll go into CAF now. We know what to do. We are going to beef up the players we have. And we are sure to come with the cup once again. So this is all that I will say. Yes. Uh, um, Doc, let me ask you about this one. Why were you sure that Samo Buedu was the guy to lead you to the trophy? Because you were very swift in, in, in making that decision. What did you guys see? Why were you convinced? You, you will be surprised. Buedu's case is quite an interesting case. Um, I would say we didn't really see him as a special figure per se. I remember I had a talk with him and uh, during our discussions, I was convinced that this is somebody who knows exactly what he's about and he can work. And now, when he left his previous, uh, what do you call it, club, the day we were expecting him to start work at our end, he didn't turn up. So I was worried. I called him. I couldn't get hold of him. I asked somebody to get hold of him. And he assured me that he'll be in at a particular time, which he came. I think by then he was, he was moving his items from Takwa to Kumasi and route to Accra. Now, when he came, what I noticed, and I'm somebody who frequents the, the, the trading grounds a lot, mm. what I noticed was that this is a disciplined guy who knows exactly what he's about. So we gave him that chance and opportunity. And he's proving himself right. He listens. You know, prior to this, there have been a whole lot of accusations that directors have been dictating. It's all lies, I'm telling you. You know me. He said, I'm telling you. No director has enforced it. I'm not, at least it's not me. Mm. And if people say so, it's a lie. Directors don't dictate to the technical team. They might suggest, if you like, you take it. If you don't like, you don't take it. Now, one point also I'd like to bring in it also is that our, our presently a physical instructor, who is also a responsible for the boys' fitness and everything, is also responsible for their welfare. And uh, that is WO1 Tando. Tando, yes. And I, I feel so happy that we have that gentleman. But I remember I told the board and Tobu in particular that I have been a soldier and when I see a good soldier, I know it. And we have to pick this man and we shall not regret. And believe me, he's come up on the tops as well. So this is how we have managed the club so far. And uh, before the end of the year, God willing, you see things you won't believe. Okay, Doc, you, you, are, you are a true and true Accra Hasselbeck uh, fan even before you become a board director and all of that. When in the season did you feel that the trophy was coming home and coming to Accra Hasselbeck? At which stage did you think that, ah, it's becoming possible or it is possible? When we had a match at Takwa, hmm. I think it ended up in a draw, so I can't remember now. And then we continuously won six matches. We play six matches. We won almost all of them. And any time I go to the pitch, and in fact, also when we brought in this young man from... Uh, Salifu. Salifu Ibrahim, is it? Salifu. 
Salifu, and also when the performance of Afutu changed, and that of uh, uh, this boy, our striker. Um, Bani, 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 it's Bani, a free Bani. Bani came in, it came in late. Let me, let me explain that to you. This striker, Obey Junior. Obey Junior, could you Obey Junior? Okay. No, Bani, listen to me very clear. Bani case is interesting. I watched Bani, I think their last match when they played in Mor is it Mauritania or whatever they played that match yeah. when he was the captain of the Afcon, yeah. And that's I, said, I told myself this is a good player. But then I didn't even know that he was part of our uh, of the club. Oh, <laughs> wow. oh I'm being frank with you. Yeah. But when I watched him train, I said this boy had to be watched. But he was hardly fielded by the coach. At times he would come in for five minutes, ten minutes. And so one time I said, I told, I remember I told the boy, child, I said, look, boy, he said, boy, child, man, this boy, Bainé, you should, we should try him. Bainé is definitely a brilliant footballer. Very slippery, has a strength. And he told me, he said, oh, dog, it seems we are thinking about the same thing. So I said, okay, let's see. We find a way to let the coach know. We suggest to him if he should try. And as I said, the coach also is a listening coach. He tried him once in the second half, to, at the time of 10 minutes to full time. Then gradually it increased. And now he's seeking his position. And believe me, he's brought a lot of changes to the club. So also is this young chap, one Mensa. Isaac Mensa. You know Isaac Mensa. Isaac Mensa is another boy that has to be watched carefully. Because I have been with House of Oak for years, and when I see a good player, I can tell you. Because when I remember very well, when I had Shamukwe, Abradikuma, Joado, and all this, there was one thing Coach Kobna may rest in peace to me. He said, Doctor, these boys will come out great footballers. You watch. I mean, when Kobna was an experienced coach, and then they came out as great footballers. And since I have mentioned Kobna's name, let, let me take this opportunity to thank the members of the Council of Patrons. All those alive. That's Anna Ening, CK Dewonu. These are wonderful people. They are still alive. And uh, they are advisors. And we pray to God that they live and live longer. And others who are on it. And I feel those who have departed, particularly people like H.P. Nyemite, Tommy Thompson, Harry Sawyer, Osekre, Ambassador Osekre, uh, Dr. Quino, Alhaji Tijani, Alhaji Has, and others I can remember now. May God keep their souls, and I can assure them that our battle cry, never say die, will never, never, never end. So that's all, George. Yes, uh, Doc, I'll, I'll make it very quick so that you can move on to other things. But let's talk about the Kumasi Asante Kotoko game, the Super Clash, the Akra Hearts versus Kotoko game. How crucial was that game uh, to winning the league as well? Your question again, I didn't hear you well. The game, the Akra Hearts versus Kotoko game, the, the second yeah. leg that was played in Accra that Hearts won by one goal to nail. How crucial was it? How crucial was it in ensuring that Hearts won the league? Oh, it was very crucial. <laughs> very, very crucial. In fact, it was one of the deciding points, to be frank with you. Now, I know the present coach very well. That is... Uh, Mariano Barreto. Uh, what, Barreto. I know Barreto. When I was uh, chairman or president of the Ghana Football Association, we employed him, Barreto. Now, I am not surprised that he started having problems with them. Because Barreto left us unceremoniously as a national coach. I'm telling you. Mm. I was surprised he came back to Ghana. In any case, that one is our own palava. But uh, 
from what I've heard so far, there is no finding things comfortable at all, I think, with the leadership of Kotoko. And uh, after we've defeated them, I knew that we are sailing home without any difficulty. And that is exactly what happened yesterday. So um, are there any plans right now for uh, the, the final game, the coronation game? Are there any plans? Because um, a lot of the fans will be looking at properly celebrating this one. Uh, how are you? Are there any plans? How are you going about it? The, 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 next, the next match is just this Sunday. I think the coronation itself was done yesterday at the Crasco Stadium. <laughs> we, we bought four <laughs> bottles of champagne, expensive champagne. <laughs> <laughs> and that reminded me when I was a uh, chairman of the club years back and I had these young boys and when they defeated Accra Great Olympics I popped champagne at Accra Sports Stadium <laughs> but this time around there were four bottles four mm. of champagne that's never been done by any other club again once again we always want to show that we set this, the, 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 what do you call it? The, the, the peace and others follow. That's all. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure there will be some sort of a ceremony there, mm. but I can assure you that the crowning is uh, it was done yesterday at the Crossport Stadium. The boys came, created management and board members, and luckily for us, there are ministers who have has of food die hard that I saw that they they all joined us to congratulate the boys, and it was beautiful. That's they right. That's right. Uh, just, just to pick on this one, you, is there any game that you saw as the most difficult game? Would you take that Olympics game as the very difficult one? What was your most difficult game of the season? I think our, our match with Dwarfs. Wow. It was the most difficult game. They were determined to destroy us. Dwarfs. And I say so because if Hasofu had had problems with any club, mind, mind you, Drives is equally an old club. Yeah. I think, I don't, I'm not sure whether Drives is older than Kotoko or vice versa. Mm. But Drives have always been worrying across Hasofu since I grew, I grew up as a, a small boy following heart. So Drives are all, so that's why we call them, and they call themselves to mysterious. But mm. we don't know how they score their goals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, tell, I'm talking about things when I was about the age of 10, 10 years. Oh, wow. Mm. Years ago. I mean, when the other people are talking about drafts, you have no idea. <laughs> At a certain stage, I was told that um, House of has to come to some sort of compromise with them because they, they always destroy our final celebration. Drafts. Mm. To me, our match with them was the most difficult one. So they were determined. They have a player they, I don't know his name. He wears a 22 0 jersey. Mm -hmm. That must be worse. He's a good footballer. Mm -hmm. He's a good right. Footballer. Right. So, um, you, you, uh, the Accra Hasbrook fans will say that they wish that the boys will stay here, um, this season, I mean, for next season, and you can build another strong squad like the 64 Battalion and go all the way to win. Um, are we are we going to lose some of them because the cash will be good on the table? Is, is that going to happen? What do you mean by losing some of them? I mean you know, selling. I mean I mean selling some of them. You know, are they going to be transferred if the cash is good, or there's a policy I, to keep it? I can tell you, not a single player is going to be sold to anybody. Hmm. We know what we are about. I don't think fans is our problem at the moment. Those that we think they are good boys, definitely they will be maintained. And when we go to calf and we come out in flying colors, whatever price any club wants from them or from us, it must be a high price. Not this uh, 100,000 and 200,000 US dollars. We want prices that to click in millions. Of mm. dollars. Mm. 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 That that's really set up. So, um, are we thinking about a double then? The oh, double. The double. I, I talk about the FA. FA Cup, yes. Oh, I, but I said it on television yesterday. We are going to pick the FA Cup as well. Mark my words. 
Yeah, it will happen. Wow. wow. That is very strong. Yeah, yeah that's very strong. Um, and maybe your final words to the fans who have been pouring out and watching the team. And at the moment, even the fans who were sleeping have all arisen from their graves and have come to join the squad already. So uh, final words to the fans. Oh, the fans and the supporters, I'd say big, big thank you. Some of them are so, so honest and truthful. So they have been, there are boys there who have been following the club, who have been following the club years back when I was chairman, over 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. One key one I'll never forget is one day, he's still around. These are honest boys who have dedicated their lives to the club. And I wish them good luck. And the others, I say, our motto alone, that is our battle cry, never say that. Should always be their watchword because that is what we believe in. If you are playing with House of Folk and the final whistle hasn't gone, don't think you have won. That's all. Dr. Nyaho, Nyaho Tamaklo, thank you very much for your time on this one. And once again, congratulations to Carl Hart's vote. We are looking forward to the double. We are looking forward to all the fantastic plans that you have for the club that would, uh, in the end, help Ghana League as you create this platform for the young ones to do what they've got to do. So a very big thank you for your time and for this interview. We definitely wish you the very best of luck. It's a pleasure. I'm very to talk to you bless you i hope you'll be coming home very soon yeah yeah yes <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, I'll be coming home very soon yes i hope, you, I hope uh, you. the english march is it well the european cup is over it's and over and yeah yeah i think you have yeah. to come back we, we miss some of your programs that you do here i know i know i'll be coming back very soon i'll be coming back soon. Doc, doc, thank you so much for your time